Hey there, simplifiers. It is the middle of January and I want to check in with you to see how your New Year's resolutions are coming along. Because according to US News and World Report, 80% of us will stop working on our New Year's resolutions by the second week of February. So today what I want to give you are three easy to implement ideas that you can use so that you can reach the goals that you've set yourself for 2018. The first tip that I have for you today is to eat an elephant. And I'm pretty sure that none of you actually have a goal of eating an elephant this year, but the idea is when you're faced with a monumental task, if you break it into smaller, easy to manage pieces, it will be easier for you to actually accomplish your goal. So your eating an elephant might be breaking your task down into small incremental tasks so that you can feel motivated and feel like you're accomplishing something and working towards that overarching goal. Or it might be bringing in other people to help you with eating that elephant or even delegating the task out to somebody else because you're a little full right now. The point is, any monumental change that you're looking to make in your life can't be swallowed in one big bite, but it doesn't mean that it can't be done. My second tip is to find some sort of accountability for yourself. So you can start by writing down your goals. And just the act of writing down your goal implements more of the learning processes that are in your brain. Not only are you seeing the words on the page, but that physical act of writing is starting to cement that idea in your brain. Another way that you can set up accountability for yourself is to set a reminder in your phone so that you remember to keep working on the things that you need to work on. So maybe it goes off in the morning and it tells you to write a to-do list or pack your lunch, or it goes off in the evening and tells you to put your phone down, which is something that I need to do. No matter what you do, you are getting some sort of a reminder on a daily basis or a weekly basis that will keep that goal in the forefront of your mind. My final accountability tip for you is to find a friend or family member that can help keep you on track. Maybe they like to eat an elephant too and they wanna help. For instance, if your New Year's resolution is to eat more healthfully, I know that if my husband and I are on the same page about healthy eating, it is so much easier for both of us to stay focused and be successful because we are each other's accountability partners. We're talking about what we're going to eat that week or what we're going to eat for dinner that night and making sure that we keep each other on track. So see if you can find that accountability buddy who will help you stay on track and reach that goal that you've set for yourself. My third and final tip to help you reach your goals in 2018 is to start over. So what if you ate a bunch of donuts at 11 o'clock last night or you didn't pay your electric bill on time this year but you were really trying to always pay your bills on time? Just because you missed it once doesn't mean that the wheels have fallen off the bus and you have to completely throw the towel in and quit right there. If you feel like you're continually unsuccessful at the goal that you're trying to reach, perhaps you need to just look at it from a different angle. So for instance, you need an elephant shake versus an elephant steak. Maybe if you're trying to eat healthy, you allow donuts in the house once a week, but anything that's left after noon goes in the trash because it's too tempting for you later on in the day. Or you set up automatic bill pay to make sure that those bills are being paid on time, even though it's gonna take you a little time and effort to sit down and set up all of those accounts. Don't let a small hiccup derail you from reaching your goal because after all, tomorrow is another day. That was, that was terrible, wasn't it? Terrible. So what do you do to keep yourself on track and reach your goals? If there's anything that I've failed to mention here, comment below and let me know what you're doing to be successful at your New Year's resolutions in 2018. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my organizing and simplifying ideas for you and your family. Take care, happy organizing, and I'll see you next time on Organizing with Simple Solutions. Can you guys keep it down a little bit?